Hi guys, Mrs. Chilton here. Just wanted to give you all an update and how to navigate uh, my Google Classroom while I am out on leave. Um, first of all, I just want to let you know that Mrs. Wolf will be your substitute teacher while I'm out. And you might have seen her around the building. She's often up at the library, um, but she has been um, working at the high school for quite a while now. So. Um, Talk to her if you have any questions. Um, she loves to, uh, to chat and she'll be a really big help in our class while I'm gone. So the first thing I wanted to say um, is that I'm gonna try to give you some tutorial videos um, at least before each uh, unit or topic that we're gonna um, complete in this class for media, media one and media two. Um, so for at least the week that we come back from vacation, which uh, you're watching this on Monday, um, welcome back. I know it's a little bit crazy. Hopefully everybody's adjusting to our schedule. Um, and just know that um, if you're feeling anxiety, um, that's okay. We'll get through this together. So the first thing um, you wanna double check is classwork. So you wanna navigate to classwork and Week two is the week that we're starting with. Um, all the assignments are labeled with numbers on them in the order that you should complete the assignments. Um, and I've put everything as the due date for Fridays. So for each unit, for um, there'll be the topic header, which for this one is visual communications. We had a little bit of a head start with it last week. And you'll see there's an introduction. Okay, you could take a look at that just to kind of refresh your memory about music videos. Um, I showed you some of the um, HSPN HUD TV videos that were completed um, in past years. This great one on volleyball, you can take a look at that again. Um, there are some helpful tips um, for using uh, pictures and getting pictures out of your cell phone for this project um, into your Google Drive or eventually into a Google Slides. If you've never done that before, you can take a look at this section here, okay? Um, the first assignment, uh, many of you have already completed. So that is the visual communications um, music video analysis, okay? Um, and you can take a look, if you have not finished that, complete that one. The second assignment is an Ed Puzzle. Uh, which is again another analysis, but um, this one really has more of um, a uh, global feel to it. And um, I'm curious as to what you feel the uh, the message is from that music video. So take a look at that one. It was really well done, uh, professionally produced. Okay, the third uh, assignment is the questionnaire. It's uh, called All About Me. And I know you've probably done this in other classes, former classes. Um, it's your basic questionnaire, and I'll just bring this up here. Um, but before I do, I just want to let you know there is an example in there. So if you are confused on how to complete the worksheet, just take a look at the example. Um, if I'll navigate to this one. Okay, so once you're in the About Me question worksheet, um, the directions are at the top. And what you're doing is just answering the questions. Um, I've added some sentence starters. Basically, you want to answer these in complete sentences. And if um, for the picture section, you would just add either something from your uh, cell phone if you wanted to add a personal picture, or you could just um, insert a Google image. Okay, and you would simply do that by inserting image, and you could either upload it from your drive, or you can upload, search the web, and that'll bring you into some Google images that you can use. Um, the images should represent um, some type of um, connecting to your answer, okay? Uh, so the first question is what you think the new normal, how, how have you been handling the new normal? Um, and then it kind of goes on to different um, sort of icebreaker style questions, okay? Um, and then it ends up at the end of the questionnaire, um, tell us your name and say the following. My name is, I would say Mrs. Chilton, and this is my story. Okay, from these answers, what you're gonna do is copy and paste them into more of a paragraph style uh, voiceover script. Okay, and this is what you'll read um, on your Flipgrid, or if you're gonna do a ClipChamp video, you'll use that as your voiceover, okay? Um, 
So that is the questionnaire. Okay, so after you're done with the questionnaires, you wanna come back and you're gonna transfer all that information into a Google Slides version. Um, the directions are right here. So you're going to um, use your answers from that worksheet and your pictures um, and transfer those into a slides, okay? There is a, a example there that you can take a look at, okay? Okay, so once you're in the slideshow, uh, make sure that you uh, label the first slide as your title about me and the subtitle with your name on that, okay? Um, you can change the backgrounds, the themes. Um, you can make it, you know, customized uh, the way you like. Um, but for the headings, um, try to add the title for the question. So your first question was about the new normal, what you thought the new normal was has been like for you. Um, so you can add that here. And then um, add your picture in the main area of the slide. Um, generally, to make a Google Slides look more like a movie, um, try to make your images um, as big as possible on your screen, okay, on the slide. So you can have, um, I would say, one picture per slide. Uh, but if you want to get fancy and you have like two pictures in there, or images in there, you can do that as well, okay? Um, at the end of the slide deck, there is um, a spot for Flipgrid. So for the um, voiceover section, um, what I'd like you to do is click on the Flipgrid link. And if you've never been into Flipgrid before, it'll ask you to log in with your student account. Um, but then you can record yourself reading uh, from your slides or reading exactly right from your um, paragraph that you completed on the questionnaire worksheet. Okay, and for those of you who wanna go above and beyond the project, take a look at number five. Um, the first one will uh, give you some links to a online voice recorder app. Um, and this web, actually a website, this website actually will let you uh, record your voice um, and create MP3 files that you can then embed in your slides, which is really cool because if you use transitions in between the pictures of your slides, um, it'll almost seem like a movie and your uh, track for your voiceover um, would lay in nicely to that. So um, that is one option you can do. Um, in the past, I've had students ask me about ways that they can do voiceovers with Google Slides. Um, so this is one of them. And hopefully you can use this in another class. Um, and then uh, the final way would be to create a ClipChamp video. Uh, ClipChamp is a program, um, free program that works with the Chromebooks. And there are some tutorials that I made, um, some examples and some tutorials right from ClipChamp that you can use to create your own video um, off of the About Me questions, okay? Um, it is, um, it's a great program. I'm hoping that you will try it out and try to um, give this a shot to create your own video, okay? Um, and you can turn that in here, all right? Okay, and that is for week two. Um, if you want to see what we'll be doing for the following weeks, you can take um, a preview. You can look at weeks three, four, and five. Uh, week three is camera composition. Um, so whether you're using your cell phone or a professional DSLR camera, um, there are some shots that every uh, beginner videographer should know um, and know how to complete. Um, hopefully this unit will help you be a better photographer. Um, that uh, you'll be able to uh, create some of your own videos as well from, okay? Uh, week four uh, is all about movies. We're gonna talk about being a movie critic, how to use um, your skills uh, with movie making, uh, analyzing some movies, and then creating your own movie review, okay? And then uh, week five, we'll talk about podcasting. Um, up and coming uh, media format right now that seems to be really popular. Um, many students um, are creating podcast clubs in their high schools. It's something that I think we could do at Hudson High. And um, it's just another way to kind of use media um, as a way to communicate and also helps get your eyes off off a screen. So you, you know, you're, you're actually listening to some of the media that you're creating. Okay. 
Um, and I will, uh, I'll be checking online um, to uh, put grades in as, as you complete assignments. Um, if you have any questions, definitely send me an email, ask Mrs. Wolf. Um, she'll be able to communicate with me as well um, and enjoy this time. And I will see you when I can.